Today we are unboxing the Breville Barista Pro coffee machine. I'm so excited. Stick around you guys. We're going to be making my first cup of coffee. Well, latte. Also, I'm just going to go over a little bit of how I dial in my espresso. So if you're interested or curious, it'll come up in just a little bit. This is everything that comes with the machine. You have holder for the filter, a little clock here to remind you when you need to switch out the filter for the water in here, which goes in the back of this tank here. Pretty easy. And then you have the tamper, the porta filter. This rubbery thing is for when you clean out your machine. That is what these tablets are for. You're going to just put them right there. When you need to clean it out, you got a razor. You have all these different filters for the coffee, a little brush to clean it, a needle to clean the little holes on here, a pitcher. Wow, so shiny. Okay, she's just practicing how to cut. So good job, Avichka. Yes? Wow, beautiful. Keep it up, baby. Doing great. So I'm going to start up the machine and you're just gonna see what it's like. Plug it in. And then you have this water container that we're gonna fill up with some water. So I guess it's telling me to flush it. So I'll show you. Because it says flush right here, and this button, as you see, is lit up. So I'm going to push that. It just needs to run some water just to get itself going. So don't touch it for a while. Right here, it says in progress. And you're just gonna let it run its course. All right, so it looks like it's done. And I'm going to be using this filter here. So I'm just gonna rinse it through one time so that for tomorrow morning, it's ready to go. So here we go. Now I'm just gonna run water through the steam wand. Let it go for a little bit. Now I'm going to turn to here for, for the hot water. All right, so now I know that this tray is full of water, so there is an indicator in here. Once this comes up, you will know that it needs to be emptied. I'm gonna put in my coffee beans that I use. They are local. If you live in Washington, these are great. Roasted in Bellingham. Oh yeah, baby. Smell it. Of course, I'm drinking my coffee as I'm editing this video. Cheers. I had the filter here actually and the water had to be in there for about five minutes. Just close it. So now we're gonna set this, set this up. We need to switch this out in a month. If it's March, we need to take it out in April. So January, February, March, April, that's four. Because I'll know on April 1st, I need to switch out the filter, all right? Just put it in right there and you just snap it in. You see that? You just snap it in right there. Perfect. All right, you guys, it is the next morning and I'm so excited for my cup of coffee. So let's make it together. Power on. Man, this is so exciting. Okay. I'm gonna dial in my coffee, which means I'm gonna weigh out how much I'm gonna grind into here. So I'm gonna put this on the scale. This is this is how I do it. You don't have to do it this way, but... Okay, so it's zeroed out. So the grind size is at 15, which is pretty coarse. 
Actually, I guess that's like the middle. So we're gonna leave it at whatever they have. And the amount coming out is 13 seconds. We're just gonna leave it at 13 seconds and grind size 15 and just see what happens. The way I'm gonna be able to tell if it's good or not is how fast this presso will come out of here. If it comes out very slow like honey, then it's good. If it comes out too fast, I need to adjust either the grind size or how much I put in. So let's just play with that. This weighs only, this is weighing now only to 11 grams, but I need about 20 grams. So that means that the seconds of this coming out, we need to adjust it to more. But now that we already have 13 in here, let's go down to 10 and add 10 more seconds. So 10 plus 13 is 23. So we're just gonna remember that for next time. We'll adjust it there for 23 seconds. If this is gonna be a good, a good amount, we'll see. We're gonna scale this out and see if it's 20 grams. The reason I'm doing 20 grams in here is because that's kind of like an average. If you go to a lot of coffee shops, they usually do about 20, 18 to 21 grams of coffee grounds. And then when it comes out, it should be double the amount in liquid. That's why I'm just gonna stick to 20 because it's easy to remember and easy to count. Let's weigh it out. <clears throat> oh, perfect. It's 21 grams. Now we're gonna steam our milk before we do the coffee. Why? Because we don't want the espresso to sit by itself longer than 10 seconds. Guys, excuse the noise of my kids in the back. It's just, it's just what it is. Hey. How are you? Good. Good. So we have our steamed milk. Now let's see if this turns out the way the way we want it. I'm gonna put the scale in here. I'm gonna place these on here. Scale it out to zero. Okay, so it's at zero now. I'm gonna go to menu, custom, and we're gonna try to get 40 grams here in about 28 seconds of it extracting, 20 to 30 seconds, okay? So here we go. All right, so it's a little bit whacked off because I started with the wrong unit, but now we're on grams, so it's about 35 grams. Not as much as I wanted it to be, and it was going for a little too long. I think what I'm gonna do is next time, put the amount of the coffee that comes out less by maybe two seconds. But this shouldn't be bad. I'm still gonna drink it, but to get it perfect, that's what I would do. Interruption. If this video is bringing you any value so far, give it a big fat like. Thank you guys. Keep watching. I'm gonna try to make one more because the other one, as you saw, was a little bit too much ground coffee. So I'm gonna do a little bit less. Okay, so I adjusted it to 19 seconds. We're gonna weigh this out. So it's at zero. And I'm gonna try and get 20 grams in here or something close to that. Some of it fell, but that's okay. I think I still too much. The way I know it's too much is because it kind of falls over. There's just too big of a mountain, but we can adjust that too. So we're just gonna pat it down a little bit. Yeah, I think that's too much because way too much of the coffee grounds are falling off. So I'll have to adjust it probably to 17 seconds and just try another time. But for now, let's see what, what happens here. I'm gonna tamper this. Let's see if it weighs out to 20 grams. 18, close enough. So we're gonna just use that, 18 grams. And when it comes out, we just want it to double. So we're just going to put it in there. Hopefully we get close to 40 grams of liquid within about 28 to 30 seconds. Oh, that looks so good. Ooh, I can tell it's gonna be good. Oh yeah. I can tell by the way the, the espresso is coming out. You see how it's very creamy and kind of thick? Oh, that's beautiful. Beautiful. So it's almost at 40 grams and stop. 41 grams and that was 31 seconds. Perfect. 
This is gonna be such a good latte, Felix. It's for Felix and we're gonna give him a test. He's gonna <laughs> test He's gonna it. test it out and we'll see what he says. You want one shot or two shots? You like it stronger. You know, I trust your hands. There you go, Felix. Beautiful. Wow. What am I gonna do with this? <laughs> Drink it. <laughs> okay. Okay. If you insist. I don't Let's know which see. one to choose. Well, that'll be very easy. Come on. I'm just gonna set that down. Let's give it a go. Wow. Now this is real coffee. I can taste it because the beans are not burnt. So yeah. I did a really good job. Is it really tasty? It good? tastes For real. smooth. Smooth? Yes. Wow. Good cool. job. She did a good job. And your shirt matches the color of this, so <laughs> you nailed this one. Nice. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. That concludes this coffee video. So thank you for watching and supporting my channel. If you guys have not already, don't forget to subscribe. I am so close to getting monetized. So guys, thank you for your support. If you have any requests or questions, let me know in the comments and I would love to make videos based on what you guys are asking or what you wanna see. So yeah, let me know.